On September 12, 1962, President John F. Kennedy stood before the nation and spoke those immortal words. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. It could have been written off as an impossible challenge doomed to fail. Instead, it galvanized the country and brought us together for the benefit of all of humankind. Today, we're faced with our own seemingly impossible challenge, stopping pandemics before they can ever take hold again. And just like the race to the moon, it will take our best and brightest to reach our final destination. But more importantly, it will take all of us coming together once again for the common good. Each of us are experiencing firsthand the devastating effects of pandemics, and it's becoming painfully obvious that we must put an end to them once and for all. But within all the turmoil and grief, there is hope. We developed a vaccine in less than a year, pushing technology and innovation beyond what was thought possible. And new treatments and medications have been created. Yet while we stemmed the tide and averted an even greater catastrophe, we might not be so lucky next time. Whether natural, accidental, or deliberate, infectious disease threats are increasing in frequency and severity. It's that very reason why we must act now. Fortunately, there are those who have already answered the call and join forces to form the Apollo Program for Biodefense. Our nation has a history of accomplishing amazing things when we put our minds to it. From a system of highways that connected the country to a global positioning system that helps us find our way. We have always been able to achieve what's never been done before, particularly when we take on technological challenges. But this challenge will take sustained bipartisan support and U.S. leadership to develop new technologies needed to prevent biological events. Both public and private sectors must work together, with private sector providing research, insights, manufacturing, and efficiency, while the government provides structure, oversight, and incentives for innovation. And since this problem is a threat to all, we will work with other countries in a U.S.-led initiative, strengthening our international relationships while making everyone safe from pandemics. The Apollo Program for Biodefense will not focus on a singular track, but rather multiple groundbreaking solutions. We'll create a world where new pathogens are detected and continually traced from the source, where we can distribute rapid point-of-person tests to every household in the country within days of detection, where effective treatments are already in hand and vaccine development and rollout occur in weeks rather than years. We'll advance other areas of science across the whole spectrum of STEM as well, inspiring the next generation of scientists, bioengineers, entrepreneurs, and public servants. We're closer to ending pandemics today than you might think, but we're at a turning point. It's time to harness America's ingenuity, optimism, and grit to achieve resilience against biological threats. Anything less could have dire consequences. Living through this pandemic has created momentum to produce technologies that we had lacked the will and resources to pursue before. We have to build on that progress and push for greater advances that will protect us from the next infectious disease threat. We envision a time when people will look back and wonder how we ever let infectious diseases wreak havoc on our society. How we ever tolerated seasonal flu, let alone viruses like COVID-19. This noble and extraordinary mission can be fully realized by the end of this decade, but only with leadership, resources, and interests that go beyond technical constraints and the usual cycle of panic and neglect. The time is now. Please join our cause today so that all of us can be protected and the world can be safer for all the tomorrows to come.